Hello and welcome to the MediaSpace Admin Console Overview video, in which we will review how to initially set up your MediaSpace site. In this video, we will learn how to customize your navigation bar, upload your own logo, and add new users, among other features. So to begin, we need to access the MediaSpace Admin Console. The address of the Admin Console is always your MediaSpace URL and forward slash admin. So my media space is called customertraining.mediaspace.caltura.com. So I'll simply add forward slash and admin and hit enter. Now enter your username and password, which are exactly the same as your KMC login credentials. Now that we've accessed the console, this is the home page. We can see that all the configuration management settings sections are on the left. In this video, we will only cover four to five features to get you started. But as you can see, there is quite a lot of information next to each field. If you want to know even more, refer to the MediaSpace Setup Guide on Kaltura's Knowledge Center. The first thing you want to do is set up the title of your MediaSpace site. By default, this would be MediaSpace. If you want to change this, simply type in the title. This will be visible to users in the browser header. As a general rule of thumb, you want to make sure that after every change you make, you save. Simply click the Save button to apply changes. One thing to note is that this will also clear the cache in the application and make sure that changes take effect immediately. At any point, you can click Go to Site, which will take you to our MediaSpace site to see the changes you have done. The next thing you want to do is configure the header of your website. In the header section, you may change the logo image. If left unchanged, the site will show the default MediaSpace logo. If you wish to use your own logo, we recommend up to 325 pixels wide and 41 pixels high. Have it stored on an FTP or a Dropbox-like solution, or even upload to Kaltura and get the image URL that would give you a direct URL to the image. Now put the URL in the header section and click Save. With the header style, you can control the skin. You may choose between the dark black skin or the light skin. We recommend using the light skin if you have a dark logo to create better contrast. After changes, click the Save button to apply changes. Now that I have customized the header, I can start working on the navigation bar. By default, the navigation area will show the categories of content that you have in MediaSpace. This is customizable via KMC. You can also add items to the navigation menu before or after the categories. There are different types of items you can add to the navigation menu. For example, if you want to add a tab that will allow users access to an external website, you can do this by clicking Add Pre. Select the type. This will be a link. Let's call this Home Site. Enter the URL and save. Now the tab will redirect you to the external website. Now that your navigation bar is set, you can control who has access to MediaSpace. There are different ways MediaSpace allows you to authenticate users. You can either use Kaltura or you can connect to an LDAP server or actually implement SSO gateway. If you would like unauthenticated users to have unlimited access to public galleries, there is the Allow Anonymous feature. This is a good option for public facing sites. If you would like to test out your site, for example, there's the demo mode feature, which would allow users to authenticate with any combination of user and password. The next thing to do is add users to the application so they can start using the MediaSpace site. This is done in the Manage User section. You manually add new users by clicking Add New User and providing details for each new user you want to add. If you have multiple users to add at the same time, you can do that by submitting a CSV. Please visit our Knowledge Center for documentation on the CSV format. Now that you have customized your MediaSpace site, let's review. To view changes, simply go to site, and you can see the logo, the title set for a website, demo training, and since we configured the website to work in anonymous mode, you can actually see the content without logging in. The last thing we modified is the link that we added to the navigation under Home Site, 
that allows us, in this case, to go to an external website. This concludes our short overview of the MediaSpace Admin Console. If you want to learn about the features we did not cover, please refer to the MediaSpace Manual in Kaltura's Knowledge Center. Thank <laughs> you.